The ongoing pandemic is causing ripple effects throughout our community. Neighbors are among those being hit the hardest. 13 on your side's Angela Cunningham is live from Mel Trotter Ministries. And Angela, just explain how this is impacting the homeless community. Well, indeed it is, James, and not in the way that many feared. A spokesperson tells me they are not seeing a higher rate of the virus in the homeless community, but they are seeing exponential growth in the number of people needing help, and it could not have come at a worse time. A COVID surge, the colder weather coming, and all of it just in time for the holidays. Now, as winter draws near, shelters like this are becoming more concerned over being able to meet the need. Mel Trotter's VP of Communications says during last year's polar vortex, they saw as many as 700 people in one night. And of course, that was pre-COVID. Now the pandemic growing, unemployment numbers and eviction rates have left many people without stable housing or forced them into complete homelessness. This has been ongoing and coming for some time. Um, it's just now it's very visible to us, right? We're seeing it in West Michigan, but it's in truth happening all around the country. Um, yeah, it's, it's no longer hidden and it is a huge problem and we're trying to meet those needs. But in terms of quantifying numbers, I, I think all, especially here locally, right? You can just literally look around and feel it. It's palpable. It's visible and palpable that the increase. I had one of my counterparts say on the way in, I saw 18 tents at Heartside Park. So, you know, we've never seen anything like it. Now, as you may know, Mel Trotter has canceled its annual Thanksgiving Day banquet, which typically feeds about 2,000 people. Instead, they'll provide food boxes through local food pantries to folks who need help, and it is a big number. Mel Trotter, with the help of Kids Food Basket, is expecting to feed about 10,000 people here in West Michigan, and they can certainly use your help. You can find information about Wednesday's annual turkey drop as well as other ways that you can help on our website 13onyourside.com back to you